Hey, thanks for watching. This is Drew with 757 Rocks. We're at Elevation 27 with Lucy's Letdown. Hey. You may have guessed they're a rock and roll band. Uh, they're opening tonight for Nashville Pussy. With their, uh, they're on first, then Cock Diesel, then Lucy's Letdown. You guys are from Brown Fredericksburg? Uh, yeah, we're based in the Fredericksburg and Spotsylvania area. Okay, so we've got Huntley, Scott, Scotty, Scotty Robert, Zach. Sweet, first try. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so um, who wants to tell the people in the world what your music's like? Uh, we're basically like, we call ourselves the saviors of rock and roll, man. We want to bring that good flavor of raw rock and roll back to the people. We want to make people, we want to make people move. We want to make people actually feel the bass, hit them right in the chest. You know, yeah. We want some power, but then we also got these rock ballads that'll just like make you get chills in the back of your neck. What's the uh, what's the song you're doing to the story sound like? What's kind of your big hit, right? Dead Man Walking? Oh, Dead Man Walking? Yeah, yeah. man. It's basically just like how, uh, you know, a lot about life, you know, just like as you go on, how it's basically like, you know, you just like dwindling down just through all the pain you have to go through. It's basically like a man on fire and you're a dead man walking. Yeah. I got a quick question. Yeah. Zach, can you do a kick flip with that thing? Um, right now? Yeah, right now. <laughs> oh, <man>. Probably not. <laughs> Yeah, I've been drinking, right? Right. Right. Get your tail. I got way too much shit on me. Wow, I'm just getting my toes out there. I'm wearing Jordan's sandals. <laughs> so I think the board's gonna fly this way. Alright, well, I'll watch my chips. Oh, God. No, I can't. So close to taking out the drop show. I know, you're in the vans, bro. This is a uh, boogie board, man. All right. I cruise on this. <laughs> so. <laughs> And he's got not, a Pardon he's, the distraction. He's the bass player. <laughs> As you can tell, baby. What's up? <laughs> yeah. So if he was a guitar player, would he have been able to pull that off? Come on, Scotty. <laughs> if you give me a pair of skate shoes, not in my freaking Air Force. I know, I'm in my fucking Jordans. Yeah, man. The shoes. <laughs> it's all about the shoes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Or the hair. Yeah. yeah, he's got better hair. <laughs> So, how long have you guys been playing together? Um, we actually, uh, me and Robert, he's the one who actually got me into music. Uh, okay. We were about like 14, he was 13. And then, um, uh, I've known Zach through high school as well. Uh, but we didn't start jamming probably until about like two and a half years ago. Alright. Um, uh, close to three years ago. And then about a year and a half ago, uh, Scott is on. Alright, cool. So, doing pretty good for a pretty young band then. Yeah, man, we got um, a lot of like momentum right now, and we're just trying to like push ourselves, and you know, we're getting a lot of buzz, and we have an EP that we're gonna be dropping in 2020, and I just feel like you know, you know we're gonna come out rocking. I, I don't think people really don't know what to expect from us, but when we come out there and we start playing, it just kind of people are drawn to it. So cool, it's, it's cool, man. The work's paying off. First time in Virginia Beach, right? Yes, sir. How you liking so far? It's been pretty chill, man. I mean. This is, I heard this is the best venue here at Elevation 21, so... 27. 27. Yeah. <laughs> so, hey, we're trying to rock it out. I mean, the sound is incredible, so... Yeah, Elevation 21 sucks. Don't go there. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a strip club, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, anything to say over here? Uh, so to what? Anything. anything. Tell, us, tell us about the music. What, 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 what do you, how would you, you describe it, Zach? Um... Our music, it reminds me a lot like of Led Zeppelin meets like Van Halen meets like something like Kings of Leon or Highly Suspect, something more modern. Yeah. And then um, we love that it's like uh, like really raw, like there's no like software, you know what I mean? It's just right, right. four it's instruments or three instruments, you know what I mean? <laughs> four guys playing. And mo most of our, most of the stuff that we own is like literally from the 80s. Like we got Dude, all of our gear is so old, man, but we yeah. rock it. Yeah, so we, we did a show in DC and all of our gear got stolen out of a truck. Yeah. And we literally had to get everything off of Craigslist after that. And I mean, from everything from the drums to like the PA, like it. So it's kind of crazy yeah. because we're playing like music that's kind of like that, but a little modern, but all of our gear is literally like from the 80s. Yeah, we made a GoFundMe and people like supported and yeah, hey, thank you guys, whoever thank donated. You, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, thank you. So. Um, you know, when I listen to your music, I don't really think you have like a retro sound, but you guys definitely seems like you're trying to hang on to some of the, uh, you know, some of the, the big rock sound. But, oh, yeah. But definitely. definitely your own thing. Yeah, yeah man. We, we just try not to really latch on to anything. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of we, all the influences that we've grown up. I mean, we, we're just lucky enough that we grew up with influences like Queen, ACDC, Led Zeppelin, Jimi Hendrix. And it's like... Then we're also in the new age where we got people like the Killers or Killswitch Engage and this little metalhead right here, he brings that whole element 
of slide guitar and it just you know it's yeah. no it's just it's a it's a really cool mix you know I uh, we all do our own thing but together it's just a whole thing of its own man it's awesome all right uh, okay so spill a game Metallica or Megadeth yeah. Megadeth all right I I like the punchiness of Metallica <laughs> but I like the how one word answers bro come on. <laughs> but man, I can't decide. Slayer. <laughs> Robert? Oh, I'll go with Metallica. Fucking Metallica, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Megadeth is really musical. They're you know always wrong. I mean? They get all over the place. Right. It's just the way it goes. I tried something push it. Okay, Stones or Beatles? The Beatles. The Beatles, of course. Beatles. Fucking Beatles. I would have thought the Stones, honestly. I, nah, I think man. the Stones. Yeah. I, the funny thing is, is that I, I enjoy the Beatles songs, but I like them done by other people. Okay. Like I, I'm a big Joe Cocker fan. Okay. I think that he does all the songs that he covers of them. I think he destroys. And one of my favorite uh, movies is Across the Universe, and I love the way that they do all those songs. All right, uh, Led Zeppelin or ACDC? Led Zeppelin. Zeppelin. West, hands down. Yeah, yeah hands the fuck right. down. So um, Robert Plant is God, man. He's pretty great. Yeah. So speaking of uh, Joe Cocker and, and Robert Plant. You know, you're the vocalist, you have a great voice. Who, who's your big influence as a vocalist? Um, I have a bunch of different types, uh, like Steven Tyler, Lenny Kravitz, Joe Cocker, Bob Seger. Um, and then anything from like R and B, you know, like kind of film the blues, like John Mayer, yeah. or like Alan uh, Alan Stone, you know, just kind of like new age stuff as well. Kings of Leon, yeah. So uh, definitely a, a, a melting pot of like different singers. Yeah. So you know, the influences you cite are, are definitely more like, like album rock. You guys don't yeah. seem to be so much into the alternative or the Seattle sound. Yeah, I mean, we don't have nothing against. We, we ain't trying to be no Nickelback. You know what I mean? Or like, <laughs> uh, or like you know, Matchbox Twenty or anything like that. But, yeah, know, for two great bands, just not your thing. <laughs> it's not a thing. You know, we, we just kind of come out here and we literally start playing from the heart, and that's how we finish the song too. We don't try to say let's do it like this song that they do it like this or do it like this. We literally just feel it out and you know, make sure the lyrics make sense to what we're doing and the passion coming behind them. If, if we're playing the music and it's not mixing the lyrics, it just it kind of doesn't make any sense. Are you stoked for the bill tonight? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. No, it's, it's gonna be cool. Um, I, I think that Cock Diesel is going to come out and rock out and the natural yeah. pussy, dude. I mean, like, dude, like, I, I just hope that she busts out the Jack Daniels and starts doing a solo. That's epic. Yeah. Yeah, go in there for good, right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. We might be lighting some shit on fire tonight. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, um, Elevation 27, show starts at 8 with these guys, Lucy's Letdown. Hey. Then the, the return of the mighty Cock Diesel. Oh. And then the night ends up with Nashville Pussy. <laughs> So hey. come check it out. If you're not on the way, you need to be. Yeah, come on out. <laughs> okay. Come hey, thanks, on guys. out. No pun intended. <laughs> Lucy let down. Out. Thanks, guys. Yeah, dude. Thank you, man. Nice to meet you, brother. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you too, man. Yeah, thank you. Yeah.